All right, when it comes to Donald Trump and the Justice Department's two sprawling investigations into him, there's really no such thing as a quiet day. Today, Eagle Eye NBC News reporter spotted the former Trump White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, and his former deputy, Pat Philbin, entering a federal courthouse in D.C., where the Justice Department's grand jury that is investigating the January 6th attack and Trump's efforts to overturn the election is seated. Reporters also spotted DOJ prosecutors who are assigned to that investigation entering the same courthouse this morning. NBC reporters even saw those men take the elevator to the floor where the grand jury meets, so it's probably safe to say they weren't there for a coffee break. But it's worth noting here that Cipollone especially is a huge get for the government's investigation because he was rep repeatedly in the room where it happened. Today's reported grand jury testimony comes a day after a very uh, eventful day regarding the government's other criminal trial into Donald Trump. That investigation being, of course, the investigation into Trump's handling of thousands of government records that just so happened to end up at his Mar-a-Lago Beach Club. The New York Times reported yesterday that the former Trump social media manager Dan Scavino and two other Trump White House aides testified to the Mar-a-Lago documents grand jury. That apparent testimony came on the same day that the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals threw out the special master who was overseeing the roughly 13,000 records that were retrieved from Trump's home. There are lingering questions regarding the potential for remaining government documents at Trump's other homes. Not only has the government raised the prospect that they are concerned some White House documents remain missing, We've got several reports that the DOJ believes documents could be at Trump's Bedminster, New Jersey estate and at Trump Tower in New York City. So the question now is, what is next? What does the Justice Department do next? Joining us now is Barbara McQuaid, former United States attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan. Barbara, good evening. Good to see you. We have not seen an appeal from Donald Trump to the 11th Circuit Court uh, ruling about the special master. Tell us what that means tonight. Well, I think he will. He, the, the fact that he hasn't yet, I think, just means that he is, uh, you know, assessing his options. But stalling has always been his game, it, stalling any of these things in order to his advantage. So I imagine he will first to the full 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. And then if they refuse to take that up or uh, change the opinion, then to the U.S. Supreme Court. So I imagine that's coming, even if we haven't seen it yet. All right. If you're Jack Smith, uh, what does this mean to you? Does it mean anything? <clears throat> Well, I think the Eleventh Circuit decision was very important. I think it's uh, very likely that that will stand, and he will get those classified, th those non-classified documents. You know, a while back, the Eleventh Circuit ruled just with regard to the smaller subset of classified documents that the Justice Department could get them. Now this is everything. No special master necessary. The Justice Department gets to look at all of these. And I think it's a really important step to being able to move forward, because you need to look at the documents to determine whether any of these defenses Donald Trump has put up have any validity whatsoever, which documents you might want to use for any sort of a criminal case. So someone will have to review all of those 13,000 documents, but now they can get to it. They can get on that when it was an important step in advancing this case. And so I think it's uh, a, a really important uh, victory for moving the case forward. 